Welcome to section 5. In this section, we will integrate our backend with our frontend in order to build a full stack application. Let's start by adding a service provider inside our frontend. In order to generate a service to communicate with our backend, you can run the following command. This command will generate a service class inside the services folder and this service will be named dashboard. Inside this service, we will first define the URLs to call in order to get back different kinds of data from our backend. You can see here that I use environment variables. Let's have a look at the environment file. This file will contain values associated with keys that we will be able to access anywhere inside our application by importing this file. You can see here that the environment is set to false for the production type because this will only apply in development mode. Then you can see the server URL property with the value which is the URL that we will contact in order to get data from our backend. Here you can see that it will be localhost on the port 3210 slash finest slash v1 endpoint. So back into our dashboard service, we will inject an HTTP client in order to make the requests to our backend. Remember that in order to be able to use the HTTP client inside your service, you need to import the HTTP module inside your app module or your component module. This should be familiar because we have done this in previous videos. Then we will define async methods that will call our different endpoints of our backend. First here, you can see the getInfo method which will contact our get info endpoint on our nest.js backend server. As usual, we will pass the symbol to the query parameter in order for it to know which company symbol to look for on the IEX API service. Then we will retrieve a promise and get the data from this promise. Then, inside our different components, we will use this service in order to know which endpoint to call on a specific page. For example, if we go to the info dashboard component, you can see here that when we submit the name of a company, rather the symbol of a company, you can see that first we will clear the state just in case we already entered another name and then we will use our service then the appropriate method in order to retrieve here 
the information about a company. In order to do this, you will need to inject the dashboard service via the constructor of your component. Also, I have added a no data property in order to handle the cases when we enter a wrong company symbol in order to display something when we have nothing. I've done pretty similar things inside the news dashboard component, which you can see here. So here we will call the get news method of our dashboard service, which will call the slash news endpoint of our backend. And finally, inside the stock dashboard component, here we will call the get stock method of our dashboard service, which will call the stock endpoint of our backend.